chapter two notes, find the slope and equation for a line from a table. So one of the things we need to be able to do with our multiple representations is take a table of values and write the equation for that table. And part of that process would be um, we need to be able to find the slope by looking at the table. So um, recall that the slope is the change in y over the change in x. On a table, we can see the change in y and change in x by looking at the values in the table. So notice on the y side of the table that the, the values are changing by 3 every time. So that tells us that the change in y for this table is positive 3. Now if you look at the x's, the x's are going up by 1 every time. From one point in the table to the next, or one value in the table to the next, we're adding 1. So the change in the x values is positive 1. So the slope would be 3 over 1, and if you want, you could just write 3. Now, I'd like to be able to write the equation for this table. And recall that the equation that we're writing is y equals mx plus b. So I've already found the m, that is the slope. Now, the y-intercept is all I need to finish this equation. And remember, the y-intercept is the point where um, the line crosses the y-axis, and it happens to be the point where the x value is 0. So this will be easy to spot on a table, because I just go to the location where x is 0, and the corresponding y is the y-intercept. So the equation for this table would be y equals 3x plus 20. So you'll be able to spot the y-intercept very quickly, usually. Um, and the slope may require a little bit of calculation. Now let's move over to the second example to the right. Again, remember the slope is the change in y over the change in x. So let's find what's the change in the y values. And it looks like this time, it is dropping 2 each time, going from 10 to 8, 8 to 6, 6 to 4, 4 to 2. That's subtracting 2 every time. So my change in y is negative 2. So that change goes here. And for my change in x, you'll notice that it is increasing by adding 1 every time. So that's like it was on the last example. So that is my change in x, plus 1. So the slope would be negative 2 over 1. And if you want, you could just simplify that to negative 2. That's fine. And for the equation, remember, I need the y-intercept, which I will find by finding where the x is 0 in the table. So the y-intercept is 6. So my final equation would be y equals negative 2x plus 6. For the third example, bottom left, checking for the slope first, and remember I need change in y over change in x, so the change in y is going from 30 to 22 is subtracting 8, from 22 to 14 is subtracting 8, from 14 to 6 is subtracting 8, from 6 to negative 2 is subtracting 8. So the change in y is subtracting 8. Now notice on this table the x values are not going up by 1, they're going up by 2. Okay, so my change in x is 2. So my slope um, would be negative 8 divided by 2, which is negative 4. Okay, so you got to be careful with the tables. Um, make sure those x's are, are, 
Um, make sure you know what they're counting by. Don't always assume they're counting by ones. Um, they could account by twos or threes or, or any value, really. Now, to write the equation, I need the y-intercept, which on the table is where the x is 0. So my final equation would be y equals negative 4x plus 14. And for our last example, again, remember we are finding the slope first, which is the change in y over the change in x. So the change in y, uh, the y's are increasing by 12. So the change in y is 12. And the change in x, if you look carefully, they are adding 3 every time. So the change in x is a 3. So the slope would be 12 thirds, which can be reduced to 4. Again, to write the equation, I need the y-intercept. So I find that by looking at on the table where x is 0. So my final equation would be y equals 4x plus 26. Good luck finding slope and equation from tables.